a very talented actress. Her show, Doll and M, premieres March the 19th on HBO. Take a look at this. <laughs> Emily Mortimer, everybody. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. You look absolutely enchanting. Thank you so much. I mean, really lovely, wonderful. It's kind of like, it's kind of sophisticated, and then, oh, oh, we're on Star <laughs> Trek. <laughs> I hope it's not blinding people. It's, it's very, it draws the eye. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm very creepy this evening. I, <laughs> normally, I'm not. <laughs> I wish you wouldn't tear up the card. Why? It, well, it makes me feel like the funny stories I've practiced aren't going to be appropriate. Have you practiced any? Well, no, it's fine. Watch this, watch this. So, uh, have you practiced any funny stories? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good. I can't do it like that, you see? I can't oh, do all it. Right, Look, I'll read you something off the cards. We get stuff no, here. No, 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 no. Uh, fire away. Anything you want. All right, then. Uh, <laughs> How uh, much do you think I weigh? <laughs> 205 pounds. Actually, I think it's a bit more than that, but I, uh, but I, well... I, I thought know. it was very modest of you to add on 10 pounds to the weight that... Because you could have said anything. I could have, but then people can't see. <laughs> and also, the camera adds, you know, 10 pounds. There's what, one, two, three, four, five cameras in here. That's 50 pounds. <laughs> Do you ever women worry about their weight a little bit? Oh my god, constantly. Really? Yes. Well, you look great. Do you do the Pilates? No, <laughs> the Pilates. No, I do a sort of weird dance size class. <laughs> really? Not cardio bar, is it? <laughs> no, oh. I don't know. It's it's. I can't even remember what it's called. I don't do it very often, but it's cool because it's it's dancers from. Broadway shows and they come like the man from Wicked he's a he's in the chorus line of Wicked and right. he comes and he does sort of and you follow along with him and you feel for a second that you might be in Wicked and um, and then you hope that, you lose weight I don't know whether that... I, I I think it sounds very exciting I'd like to do it I I would like to put my name down to be part of the dancing with the stars of Broadway okay good you can exercise class awesome. <laughs> Awesome. It sounds a bit like jazzercise, a little bit. <laughs> I think it is, but is that ja not cool? No, jazzercise is cool. It's come completely round again. It's now cool. <laughs> it's like wax moustaches and, um... Well, yeah, I wax right. moustaches <laughs> like that. <laughs> you know, I wish I hadn't torn up the blue cards now. I know, Oh, but don't I'm worry. You. Tell me about your show, Doll and Them. Um. Um, Doll and Them. <laughs> I love it. It's great. But uh, tell them about <laughs> it, though. Uh, okay, so Doll and M is about what happens when you make your childhood best friend your personal assistant. And the answer is just a complete disaster. You mean hiring your friends never works out? Well, in our show it doesn't anyway. Well, no, it, it's never worked here either. <laughs> That's why I always work with my deadliest enemies. <laughs> <laughs> is that is is the 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 actress in the show is your best friend? Yes, Dolly Wells is my best childhood friend. I've known her since I was four years old, and um and where did you two grow up? We grew up in London, England. Yes, I thought I detected a trace of that. <laughs> Which part of London, England? Um, West London. <clears throat> mm, yes. Hammersmith uh, and Kensington. Oh, Kensington's very nice. Isn't it? <laughs> if I had a butler, I'd like him to be called Kensington. <laughs> Did you have a butler? No. I... Are you sure you're English then? <laughs> no, and neither did I have a personal assistant, but I ima we imagined what it would be like. We just said it's a funny sort of grey area, the thing of, of, of assistance, because it's, it's, they're there in your life so much, but then there's a moment where they have to sort of uh, clock off, and it's sort of nobody quite knows when... Say that again? <laughs> I don't know what's going on between you two, but it seems very sexy. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what it is. Did you ever uh, 
Did you? Well, so you grew up together? Do you work together the whole time? You've known each other the whole time? No. You're both... Oh. Uh, well, we... well, I'd invented a story there. It's obviously <laughs> wrong. You no, got... we didn't. We, didn't we, we knew each other just as very, very close friends until about ten years ago. And then that's when we decided that we should write something together. But ah. it took us ten years to do it. Um, but really, at the beginning, it was just an excuse to hang out with each other a lot because I moved to America and she was still living in England and we were running up extortionate phone bills and so we had to lie to our husbands about why and so we pretended we were writing a film script. Ah, I see, and then you had to go actually and, go ahead and write it. Well then, but yeah, but... Well, because it, your husbands claimed it on their tax forms and therefore... <laughs> But it took 10 years to actually go ahead and write it because it was just getting really embarrassing because people were asking us about it and we hadn't done anything. We'd just, and we'd also flown to various locations all over the world to be together to write this thing and ended up just gossiping in coffee shops and not doing anything. And then suddenly it was just bizarre because we'd had two children each. We'd had four children between us in the time it had taken <laughs> to write this thing and there was no script. It was like the script that, that Jack Nicholson is writing in um, The Shining. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, so uh, when you were together, did you ever go to a deserted old hotel and see, uh, you know, <laughs> blood and stuff? No, but we, we hung out everywhere, all over the world. When she would come to where I was filming and I would go to where she's an actress in England, although now she's moved to Brooklyn, just around the corner. Oh, from uh, did, you, did you move back east? Yes. I thought you lived here. I, I used to live here. In the and now you've moved back to the east coast? Yes. How's that winter working out for you over there? <laughs> It's horrendous. It's just confusingly it? cold. I don't understand that. It's, it's really crazy. Yes. I was, I mean, but it is global warming, isn't it? I mean, what is it? I don't know. I'm not a scientist, but uh, <laughs> I was. it would seem to me there seems to be climate change afoot. I was brought up by my father used to, on holiday, the two conversations we weren't banned from having was talking about our mosquito bites and global warming because he found them both such boring topics of conversation. So I've been trained not to talk about global warming, but I'm feeling sort of, it's bubbling up inside of me because I've, I just see it everywhere. <laughs> and it's, it's very, very... <laughs> well. It's... well, you can talk about global warming here. This is a, this is a well, safe it... place to talk about. <laughs> Is it boring for you? No, no, not at all. This is what I do when I'm giving people therapy. <laughs> well, thank you. You're helping me through a difficult well, moment. Well, you know, the thing is... It's but what are we going to do about it? About global warming? Yes. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. My sister in England has been flooded for a month of, of, of four inches of water every day coming into her house. Yeah, that sounds terrible. It's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> you don't seem to really think it is. But I, I, I do <laughs> think it is. I just don't I feel know like what to do. Be building an ark or something. Somebody should be doing something. Amen. <laughs> oh, let's do it. Let's let's build. I got an ark. Amen. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> we'll be right back after these messages, everybody. I'm here with Emily Mortimer. We had a great idea, you know. We, we, we got some hammers. We're going to build an ark. <laughs> Eddie the props man brought out a couple of hammers. I didn't want him to feel bad, so, you know, I mentioned it. <laughs> Unless you want to actually start building an ark with a hammer now, or hit me really hard with it. No, ni neither I would be very good at. <laughs> well, I'm relieved to hear it, young lady. So, uh, we're out of time. Oh, uh, we are? Oh, that's a relief. We finished. Hey! No. I, I could stay here all night. All right, well, there's only one thing for less for you to do, and that's to hold me in one place and guess my weight. <laughs> no, no, don't do that. Uh, <clears throat> well, unless you want to, of course. Um, I'd love to. No, would you? No. Um, <laughs> we, uh, we could uh, meditate, or we could have an awkward pause. I want to meditate. I want to show you a meditation trick. Okay. And I needed matchsticks, but actually, you know what? I can do it with these three pens. Those pens there. Wh which pens? These I need pens? three of them. Three, three pens. Yes. These? Can we use these? Are they all right? It's not advertising Al Qaeda or something, is it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is a very serious meditation technique. All right. Can we put some meditation music on? 
Yes, but as long as it's quite quiet. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> okay, now put, you've got to, I'm doing it on you. You're going to do it. Uh -huh. So you're going to put this between your knees. Reminds me of something. Ho hold it between your knees. Okay. And then you're going to touch these two uh, lids onto that third one there in a Y shape. And you're going to close your eyes and you're going to start to hum. <laughs> do you mind doing that for me? Craig. Yes, I'll do that. Go on then. <laughs> mm. Keep your eyes closed. Keep going. Mm. <laughs> louder, louder. Mm. <laughs> now you know what an elephant feels like riding a motorbike. <laughs> <laughs> We're right back, everybody.